Are we going to take questions? Or I think we should. Okay. If anybody has uh, a question. What's the definition of zeitgeist? Uh, uh, it, okay. I don't have it memorized. I, it's a word I use. It's sort of the over. What was the question? What is the definition of zeitgeist? Oh, a zeitgeist? Because I have, I have uh, actually I can give you the definition of a fugue. A polyphonic composition on one or more short themes, contrapuntally harmonized and introduced from time to time. Uh, I sometimes talk about how shows or movies or what have you are perfect for the zeitgeist of a time, and then 10 years later they become absurd and embarrassing. Zeitgeist is a German word that essentially means the overall prevailing socioeconomic climate of any given period. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I hope I handled that question well. Do you have anything to add? To the zeitgeist of yes. this current moment? Yes. I do not. Well, actually, you know what? Wally and I used to get into confrontations over verbiage, over vocabulary. Right. Because I remember you would, you know, you, you would have, what, with what all you, of your what notes. What vocabulary mean? It means words, Wally. Oh, okay. did, did he ever ask you for angst? Yes. He, was to, he would ask us for angst. <laughs> And half the cast I would told you out, not to bring that up, <laughs> God damn it. would be out in the lobby looking at the dictionary. What is he what's, what's, That's the angst right there, is trying to find the I word. I had it on the billboard, more angst than the next show, and, and you mocked me. <laughs> well, he always would put all sorts of wonderful notes in the margins of the scripts. And it's, we got into a big discussion about the meaning of Eldritch once. And it became this thing with Wally and I. We were working in two different what, countries, so what you about mostly elder phone abuse? <laughs> That'll come later, Wally. Stick around. After the youth in Asia. Um, my greatest moment, my little moment of triumph, my, my coming of age, I think, moment, involves you. Because we would get into these things all the time over the phone of, you know, it'd be like, okay, McNeil, you know what this word means? It's like, <laughs> it's a word that actually has come back in a little bit, but I was flipping through a book called Words by Paul Dixon, because I'm interested in words. And I found this really weird one, and it stuck in my head, and I went, there's a word that hasn't been used in 700 years. Bum, bum, bum. The very next day, the very next day, it came up somehow in a session, and you hear this pick up thing. All right, McNeil, here's a word you probably never know, Merkin. And I went, I went, oh my That's lord. A Merkin, is, know what a, Merkin is. a Merkin is somebody I, I, south of the border, right? Exactly. We're Canadian, I'm a Merkin. they're Merkins. He's a Merkin. So I got to We're very, American very, American. I got to very casually in conversation. It was like, oh, you mean the uh, rare and obscure 13th century pubic wig? Yes. <laughs> and on we went, and you couldn't see me. I was fist bumping like a mofo in there. <laughs> yes, victory. <laughs> and I just worked the word Merkin into a panel now. That's tw <laughs> that's 25 years back, and I knew Merkin very well. Now Wally sells his own line of Merkins. <laughs> Yeah, he knew Merkin. Believe me, you're no Merkin. That, right. that, that, that goes back to Northwestern Theater 101, in which you learned uh, uh, the Elizabethan costuming. Mm -hmm. Goddamn. That's, that's straight. You studied Shakespeare. Give me alarums and excursions. <laughs> Diverse alarums. I threw out Moliere at another panel. Nobody laughed. I wish to God you'd been there. <laughs> I would have been the one guy. <laughs> Moliere. I love that guy. Moliere bit. Uh, he was mostly physical. This reminds me of the expression, uh, so many degrees apart. Uh, 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 what's your name? I, uh, I'll, I'll think of it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs>